everyone, it's Louise McKay with Louise McKay Art, and I'm back for a new round. This is day two of doing some test tiles for some coasters I'm making for my son's wedding that's going to be on May 7th. So the plan is to make coasters with bloom technique and uh, give the coasters out as like uh, party favors or, you know, giveaways at the wedding as a memorial to, this, to, the, to the wedding itself. And what I'm going to do on the back of these when I get them done is I'm going to put the, the cork on there, plus stamp them with, you know, the initial Chloe and Sammy with the date of the wedding and give them away. I have one of these at each of the seating places and uh, anyway, it should be fun. So I already went through round one of this yesterday and as you can see, I kind of left a mess, but um, I'm not ready to clean up yet. It's not that bad. Um, one of the things I did learn is I used this pillow paint, this PPG Multi Pro. This is the number on it from uh, Home Depot. It's only like 15 and a half bucks and it was something that was suggested by Karen Dershwin at Waterfall Clip Acrylics and I love this paint. This is amazing pillow paint. And I don't know if you can see it, but it should have about a five second trace. And just out of the can, it had exactly what I needed with no GAC. So this is just paint by itself. Um, another little tip, Home Depot. I know I'm ex-military, so you get 10% off of your charges being ex-military. You have to register. And also, if you have a Discover card, you can uh, use Home Depot as your rewards and get a gift certificate from them uh, when you earn rewards through purchasing, make, making purchases with Discover. So effectively, I got 20% off by using a gift card and using my military discount. Uh, so that even made this cheaper. So I'm all about saving money, and we all know that we all spend a lot of money here. So with this project, that's going to probably amount to about 40 tiles. I'm not going to bore you by doing only blooms for the next month. I'll do some deconstructed blooms, and I'll try to mix it up with some other things. Um, but I will be doing this as, an, as a project. Um, oh, here comes the dog. Here's my dog, Kira. And my grand dog, Kira Here's my grand dog, my grand dog, Griffin. Yeah, it's Griffin. He's a good boy. Good boy. Okay, go, guy, go out and play. Go, go. It's not snack time. So, uh, so yeah, um, there's a certain color palette we're trying to achieve. yesterday weren't quite it so I went ahead and made some new colors I made a I was trying to use a Venetian rose cell activator that just didn't work just didn't come out right so what I did instead is I made my own I'm calling this a dusty pink that I'm going to use as one of my actual colors that I added some Amsterdam zinc white which is transparent to lighten it and then I added a little Payne's gray to dust it up, make it look dusty. And then I also made a new color here. The green I had yesterday was way too teal. So this is um, a little more sage color, but with some sparkle. This is mostly the treasure gold aquamarine. And I added a little bit of um, golden stalo green and a little bit of liquid texas Payne's gray to dust I, I call it dust it up which is basically gray it up a little bit okay and then i've got black and white cell activator okay so with that let me uh let me start working on my first tile so here i'm going to start voicing over and speeding up the videos of the first three tiles to get to the fourth one which is where all the learning culminated I'll even skip in spots to spend more time on the fourth tile that, in my opinion, just came out really good. I'll even do some slow motion so you can see the actual blowout in slow motion. So this is one of the tiles I made yesterday, and I needed to adjust it because the aqua was too teal turquoisey color, and I uh, needed to make a rose to go with the color palette. So I am going to skip through a lot of this pretty quickly and spend most of my time at the end.
On this tile, I did it differently than the other two, and then I wanted to break up the reds and the green and blue from each other. So on this one, I went from blue to violet, and then I went to the um, pearl violet. And what else did I do next? I can't see. And then the rose, and then of course the sagey green color. But the thing I did at the end here is I forgot the order I was putting the cell activator down and I reversed it and I wasn't happy with the result. You'll see. hard to see from that far away. So this is where we are. It's very different than the other two. I wanted to see what that difference would make with the laying it out differently. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, first I'm going to show my future daughter-in-law the tiles and see if these work. All right, folks. Um, I'll show you all three at the end of this for comparison. Hey everyone, I'm back. I lied. I am gonna do a fourth tile because I want to put the cell activator down white and then black. And the last time I did it black and white and I want the white to end up in the middle. So here we go, and this is actually on a real tile. And the reason is, with the white going down first, it's gonna be the last to push up through the paint at the blow spot, and the black will be pushed out to the edges, and the white will come up and adopt the color of the last color or colors down. And I want the white to absorb the green and whatever other colors are showing through nearer the center of the tile. Blue. You notice here what I'm trying to do, which is what I usually try to do, is layer the colors down in just kind of a drizzle so that there's some of the other color below poking through. So when the colors blow out, they spread and interact with each other versus being right on top. In the last tile, number three, I laid down the sage color kind of in a big blob right on top of all the other colors, and I believe it just blotted out the other colors, and then combining that with the black cell activator that went on top of it, it made the middle very dark, and there was no interesting interaction between colors within cells. So I'm trying to be very aware to make the colors separate from each other here. The other thing is the learning from this whole process between yesterday and today, that uh, pearl violet that I just laid down is I think some magic sauce because I'm gonna go out and have to buy some more of that because I've never played with the pearl from Amsterdam before and I am so amazed at how well it makes the colors all kind of bleed through and it just adds a lot of nice dimension to the cells that I've seen on these four today. So once again, you do test tiles so you can see what you like, what you don't like, what works and what's not working so that you can move forward and create something really cool.
white, then black. Here we go. In a second here, I'm gonna go in slow motion so that you can see how the paints roll as I'm blowing. I don't claim to be any kind of expert on this technique, but if you watch me, my head shifts from side to side as I'm blowing out. And I'm not sure where I learned that or picked that up, but it really helps in keeping the shape of the bloom as you're blowing it out versus having a small, thin trail. You kind of have a large petal that gets blown out. Makes it a nicer shape in my opinion. that develop for a second. So I'm gonna fast forward here and, and cut out about a minute and a half where I'm letting the cells develop at the same time cleaning up my popsicle sticks and putting the lids on my paints. So I'm gonna jump ahead here. Go. Whoa. I don't think I'm centered. Wow, there's a lot happening in here. Glad you're all able to see the different impact of the different layering and the different cell activator. I would like that paint to pull on that back corner. Now that is one vibrant Honestly, I'm not used to having so much color. I'm usually kind of a more muted girl. I like more calm colors. This is really bright. I 
I don't think this is gonna go away. Unless I really force it. And I don't wanna destroy the rest of it. Day in the life of the McKay family. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do one more and see if I can move some of that off. I can live with that. So here's the latest tile, Sam. That's really cool. Does it look like your color scheme? I think so. I'm getting there. It's crazy. This thing is crazy. Holy cow. All right, so this is where we are. I'm pretty happy with this guy. It's amazing what the difference of the cell activator does. Wow. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna stop on that note because this is pretty cool. I'll get a picture of all of them together. With that, I wanna thank everybody for stopping in. I especially wanna thank the new subscribers. All you guys have been great support. I love your comments, keep them coming. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy, take care, and we'll see you next time.